Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild and at the moment I'm doing a lot of different things. It's it's weird. I'm mostly coming home then I'm sitting down for a bit to just basically prepare Space Engineers. Not today, yesterday. I, I On the days I'm not recording I'm trying to prepare and all that stuff. So and it gets me at the moment that I'm jumping from here to there, doing this and that, and then doing some other works in between. For example, I've built this. It's not beautiful, absolutely not. It's a bit of a minor, and I went all, basically all mods on it. It's, the reactor is from Azimuth, the this uh, cargo containers from Azimuth, or not from Azimuth, I think the Builder or something like that has it at the moment and is doing that. But it's the the package, basically. The, yeah, the the modular thruster is there, by the, by the way, really, really nice. I have a mining laser on the front and some... These, these are nice, smaller smaller solar panels oh i didn't notice oh i brought the oh, i brought the quality down because yesterday i was uh, working in the world and i brought basically the quality down to be able to watch some youtube next to it and uh, while working normally space engineers for some reason doesn't cope well with chrome when you watch videos and have a lot of tabs open, it kind of, sometimes it just then says, no, no, this does not work. I, I need to close something. And I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in, in the machine. So it, that shouldn't happen, but it does. Then um, I went out and got a lot, a lot of materials. I hope that we, with the load of material I got, we can go for a bit, um, keep keeping keep on building and all that stuff so then i didn't work on the duchessa or just a little bit i think i welded here and there and changed some things you may notice i have downloaded a mod that removes the armor edges i wanted to test that and see if i if i like that you might want to have an opinion on that too then yeah i did something else i built a bit this um yeah i i started a bit of a station and now um you can see that that it's absolutely not done and we will together work on that more and more but i already started basically the shape for the down here the cannon then going up having tanks and storage and a bit of energy production then coming up basically to the don't know to the area working space with working space and all that stuff i already brought in nanites and already have tim on here <laughs> it's one of the first things i i now always set up you can see there's in the middle basically the middle axis is um, a system of conveyors it goes up to here and then basically ends here but i can from here i can go out and then do uh, some branching off with the conveyors we will see how that works out i am i want to have a small hanger in here or something like that because i also worked on this we can go over that in a second and i want to build something like a shipyard here in space because i have another space build i want to do kind of I want to test something and uh, I want to basically build it here in the not too distant future. Let it say, let's say it that way. Good. You can see mm, that I have this elongated structure. This down here will be a bit like scaffolding for the... I want to add some hydrogen tanks, some oxygen tanks to this and then have maybe more storage here i'm i'm not sure for now um this will all work out this might be open we will see how how i 
how it comes along. It, it's the thing I basically had in my head and started to build and then I continued with it. And up here I maybe want to make an octagonal ch shape or something like that. Basically have flat sides here, flat sides here and then some... Um, some yeah, sloping sides, diagonal sides here, basically. And then go up a few decks or something like that. Maybe integrate the hangar in there. Have a structure coming out maybe here with, yeah, basically a space dock feeling. And then around the structure have some docking ports for bigger ships. Just so I can... I can uh, don't know, connect them to the outside and have them unload materials and all that stuff. Also, this thing, I need to, it it needs a nice, a bit of a nicer shape. This is just, I just wanted to get out there and get materials. So let us take a look a bit at the, at the freighter I brought in. Um, the the freighter got a bit of an update with some hydrogen thrusters and I brought, or not brought, I built this oxygen generator on here. I want to test if it's able to yeah, supply the hydrogen thrusters with hydrogen so I don't have to use tanks. I think storing ice on this thing is a lot neater than to have big tanks on here and then I surrounded it with these small solar panels so that it always has power and doesn't run out and um, yeah the the I removed the speed mod I had for a long long time and that's why I basically want to have the hydrogen thrusters on here um, the ships I have built with there might have been some changes to thrust because the the ships I've built are not able to get out of the atmosphere anymore and I fear it could be true for this one too the the one I have down there on the base isn't able to get out of the atmosphere anymore that's a bad thing um, might have to upgrade that a bit good okay um what I want to figure out next is the basic shape we talked about a second ago. Again, I want to build um, an eight-sided structure here. I thought about making it roundish. So this this fake round that that you can also do in, in Minecraft, and I love to do in Minecraft. But here the blocks are too big and so it doesn't really work you can add some slopes then and diagonal shapes but it doesn't look as nice and again having this octagonal shape maybe just is enough of a different shape to yeah to make it look nice so we have one Three, four, five, and five. I want to have um, odd numbers here, and I'm thinking about when to go diagonal. We could just let me do something. Go diagonal. Basi I basically want to have the sides relatively even not even in length yeah have the same basically have the same length and um I, there might be a way to okay one two three four five six seven eight nine and these have six or seven one two three four five six okay if i go for seven on each side then this should be seven two that should be what I want it's problem is it's optic 
Uh, no, it might be bad because I will have seven. Then at seven again, this might not look too nice. It's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, now see, now it's too long. No, oh, it might. It might work. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Didn't I add the? <laughs> didn't I add the number here? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I did. So why is it? Did I miscount? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's weird. I don't care. <laughs> it does it look it looks basically the same length. That's that's what I want to have. This length needs to be kind of the same length as this shape here. And then I can build up. I want to have it diagonal here, but again, I don't want to have this fake round stuff here. Um because then I have a platform that I can build on. I can build some walls. I can uh, put some windows in if I want. And uh, start to have an internal structure then in the, in the end. That's, that's the thing I also want to have. I need to put some, maybe some airlocks around it. I could go, go for an airlock script or something like that maybe leave a suggestion if you have a good airlock script i could use then maybe let me know that that would be neat um now now that we have introduced scripts into the world we can we can go all out so let me know if you have a good airlock script or something like that otherwise I can go with the timers again and build uh, airlocks like I already have with sensors or something like that. I know that there is airlock scripts that basic basically um, uh, have two doors. You connect basically two doors. You open the the one on the inside first. The one on the outside closes, and then it it does the other way around. You can even I think set times so it doesn't immediately open and c open the doors one two three four five six seven this this is st definitely stuff i want to have um then i can maybe or i maybe don't have to use um use uh, sensors then or something like that one thing i uh, forgot last time is that uh, orc sniper uh, also mentioned that I could use some um, sensors and I hope I got that right to turn not only the gravity on and off for the cannon but in my head he said something because one thing I one problem I definitely have is that the that the nanites in the area pick up the stuff that uh, floats in space and the range seems to be relatively high what I could do is as long as there is ores in front of the gravity cannon down there um, maybe on the whole range of the sensor I could turn off the the pickup mechanism of the of the nanite um, factories in the area maybe have um, just one that really is for pickup like i have in the station down on the planet and then have it so that as long as there is oh, what is why is there a block as long as there is ore in front so the the ore basically gets a bit of a heck head start and uh, the nanites might not be able to to catch up with it or something like that so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do that on the other side too. Then the diagonal shapes and the slopes. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Let me do that all around. Uh, I think um, you all can count and you don't have to hear me count over and over. One thing I wanted to show you because I just saw I need I need some steel plates and I just saw it. I, for the first time in the whole series I brought I brought I brought this in. Magnesium. I have magnesium ore now. Now I can make bullets. Bullets. And we will take that <laughs> and maybe turn on the drones. I I think that's an, a neat idea to maybe turn on the drones and um have some use for the magnesium <laughs> that that would be that would be neat um okay you can see the the refiners do a relatively good job of of having relatively small amounts of magnesium now it put in the 100k again i don't know why sometimes it tim has it tim does its things and i don't know how he does it but he, he does a good job. So let me get, grab some steel plates and continue. Now with the slopes, it starts to not look right anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it would have been better to have these one. Although then, then these might look too short and these look too long. It's, it's blocks. What can we do? Good. We will keep it that way, I think. Um, in the next few days, I want to fill the stuff in. Uh, these filling in large areas is is crazy. <laughs> and I need a bit of a way to maybe make the underside look a bit better. I want to have something don't know coming from here doing doing something here the, the, this space at the moment is too empty although I have the idea of adding more containers here but I need some something down here in this empty space and then maybe break up the the flat area on the bottom a bit I don't know how yet but it will it will happen in a, in a way Good. The nanite factories are hard at work to produce all the. Oh no, uh, it's it's all done. So there's no steel plates at the moment. Sec. Maybe I can produce some steel plates now that I have the time, or the the assemblers basically bang on my time again. That's one thing I want to do. And then I need a bit of a decision. Maybe I use this as a bit of a production area. So add some assemblers, add some refineries here. And then go up for maybe, hmm, maybe the docks or something like that. And also maybe a hangar. I could have two docks for ships on each side and then maybe have a bit of a hangar on this side and on the other side have the the shipyard. We we could we could go with that. I'm I'm not sure yet, but we will find a neat way to do that and above that maybe some areas, some living quarters or something. I, for one, for once, I want to have a bit more of a plan with it and then maybe keep on really doing the stuff, um, trying to, to have rooms, trying to have something there that, that makes this a, a livable space station. Something like that would be would be neat. Good, we will have to see. I can work on this now a bit more. Um, I think I will do that over the weekend or so and present you on Monday a bit, a bit more progress. Good people, I think that's all for today. Um, I'm, I basically just came, came home and started to record to, to give you an episode for today. I hope you are happy with the progress I've done and 
hope you liked the video if you did and please leave a like on it that would help me out a bunch leave a comment about um the the airlock mod or something like that and then i hope to see you in the next week i would say see ya guys